Let's take a look at the clevis pin generator and calculator in Autodesk Inventor. So we've got a simple design here that will require a clevis pin in this region right here. So if we are on our design tab in Inventor, notice next to bolted connections here, we've got a variety of different pin scenarios available for us. If you hover over that a little longer, we'll even get a, a better tool tip explaining exactly what that would be for. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and use the clevis pin generator. And we've already got some holes in place, so I'm just going to use the concentric option to pick our faces, our circular edges, and our termination plane. And if we pick a particular standard or type of clevis pin, I'm just going to use ANSI, and I get basically one option here. We get a default clevis pin preview as you can see here. Now I could click and drag the length. Looks like it's pretty close to what we want right now. But if you notice the diameter looks a little small for what somebody was assuming for that hole size. Now to figure out what the size this really should be, we can go to our calculation tab and start putting in some of our physical utilization parameters for this. So for example if we know this is going to be loaded for about 100 pounds force we can give it some existing clevis data, such as the width of the clevis itself. So I'll just use our measure tool here to allow us to select a couple faces on half of that clevis. Then for the rod width, we'll do the same thing. The rod's got to fit from there to there. And if we do some calculations, we can already see that it's saying that that pin is going to be too small, it's going to fail, not compliant. So we could bump that up one size maybe, rerun our calculation. In this case it says, yeah, the design is compliant, but you know what? We probably want to design this with some sort of safety factor built in. And in this case that's still a little bit small. So if we bump that up to just short of 8 millimeters and calculate that again, now we're in design compliance. We've got a safety factor of one and a half built in. If we wanted to, we could change some of our pin and clevis materials here. So if we wanted to, we could probably bump up the, the stress, bending stress and shear stress limits using a, a higher grade material. But in order to keep this design a little cheaper, we're going to stay with just a, a lower grade clevis pin material. And if we hit OK, we get our clevis pin inserted just fine. One last thing I wanted to make sure of might be to perform an interference analysis on this. So I'll pick the pin and pick the other clevis and rod components just to make sure that there's no extra interferences there. Thanks for joining us in this example of the clevis pin generator for Autodesk Inventor.